Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I am Madam Nurul Atika Asmi. So today's video, we are going to learn polynomials, lecture 2 of 5. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to apply the remainder theorem to solve problems. Okay, we will look at the remainder theorem. By using long division, polynomial P, 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x minus 2 will give remainder 19. Okay, so when you do the long division, you will get 19 as the remainder. But now, we can still get the remainder without going through the long division. This is called the remainder theorem. Okay, what you need to do is just substitute x equal to 2 inside the polynomial. So our divisor here is x minus 2. This is our divisor. So, we will substitute x equal to 2 inside the polynomial. And then, here you can see that the remainder is 19 when you substitute x equal to 2. So, cara yang berbeza untuk mencari remainder. Yang pertama, by using long division. Yang kedua, by using remainder theorem. Okay, the divisor is a linear factor. Okay, when a polynomial P is divided by the linear factor x minus A, then the remainder is P A. So, there is proof for this statement. Let P be a polynomial of degree N, where N uh, greater than equal to 2, then P equal to Q times D, which is our divisor, plus remainder. Okay, when X equal to A, then we substitute X equal to a inside this polynomial. So, since a minus a is 0, then we can say that the remainder is r equal to p. Okay, note here, if p is divided by ax minus p, then we will get r equal to polynomial b over a. You need to substitute b over a inside the polynomial. For number 2, if P is divided by AX plus B, then you can substitute negative B over A inside the polynomial. Okay, next we will look at the uh, example. So, find the remainder when P equal to X cubed minus 2X squared plus 4X minus 5 is divided by X plus 2. So, here you can substitute X equal to negative 2 inside the polynomials. So, P Okay, when you press the calculator, it will give you the answer negative 29. So, that is our remainder. Okay, next. Bila soalan adalah kita punya divisor 3x minus 1. So, kita akan substitute x equal to 1 over 3. Okay. Then, bila tekan calculator, jawapan yang kita akan dapat adalah negatif 104 over 27. Okay, next, example 2. When P equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus kx cubed minus 6 is divided by 2x minus 1. So, this is our D. Then, the remainder is 16. Determine K. So, from the remainder theorem, which is P A equal to R A, then we will determine K. So, here our D is 2X minus 1. So, kita akan substitute X equal to 1 over 2. So, P 1 over 2 equal to R 1 over 2. Then substitute 1 over 2 inside our polynomial.
Okay, our remainder is already stated in the question, which is, which is 16. So then we simplify on the left hand side, you will get k over 8 minus 13 over 2 equal to 16. Then we will bring this to the right hand side. So k over 8 equal to 45 over 2. Then you will get k equal to 180. Okay, example 3. The expression x cubed minus 5x squared plus qx plus 9, where q is a constant, give a remainder of 13 when divided by x minus 4. This is our divisor. Find the remainder when the same expression is divided by x minus 3. This is also the divisor. Okay, now this expression, uh, dia tak set up ni ada P ke Q ke ataupun apa-apa. So, kita kena let. So, let Px equal to x cubed minus 5x square plus Qx plus 9. Okay, then kita akan guna remainder theorem. So, divisor kita adalah x minus 4. So, kita akan ambil x equal to 4. So, we will get P4 equal to R4. Then, substitute 4 inside this polynomial. And our remainder is 13. Okay, simplify. On the left hand side, we get 4q minus 7 equal to 13. So, 4q equal to 20. q equal to 5. Okay, next, find the remainder when the same expression means that this expression when divided by x minus 3. Okay, for this one, kita akan guna, kita akan substitute x equal to 3 inside this polynomial. Okay, tekan calculator dan kita akan dapat jawapan dia adalah 6. So, soalan minta find the remainder. So, kita kena buat conclusion lah. Therefore, remainder equal to 6. Okay, we will proceed to example 4. Given here, p equal to 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus 6x plus 1. Okay, when p is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is twice of the remainder when p is divided by x minus 1. So, kita tukar daripada ayat ni, ayat yang panjang ni kepada ayat matematik. Ini bermaksud, when p is divided by x plus 2. So, kita akan substitute x equal to negative 2. Then, dia kata, the remainder is twice. Okay, twice maksudnya dua kali ganda when p is divided by x minus 1. So, yang ni kita akan gantikan dengan 1. So, yang ni kita akan substitute x equal to negative 2. Yang ni, x equal to 1. So, apa yang kita kena buat seterusnya adalah from the left hand side, we will substitute negative 2 inside this polynomial. And for the right hand side, we will substitute 1 inside the same the polynomial. Okay. And then we simplify. So, kita akan dapat 4a minus 3 equal to 2 and dalam bracket kita ada a minus 3. Then simplify lagi. Yang ni kita kembangkan bracket dia. And then yang ada a kita bawa sebelah kiri. Yang number kita bawa ke sebelah kanan. So, 2A sama dengan negatif 6 tambah 3, negatif 3. So, A equal to negatif 3 over 2. That will be our answer.